How can we stoop so low? I want to give y'all my take and my view on this uh, situation with what uh, Vaughn, uh, Recipes Vaughn and uh, Trap Lord, and then the rest of the blogs and the rest of the world. What I do not like about the situation is this. When it comes to Vaughn, when it comes to Duck, when it comes to Melly, when it comes to all these different guys living or not living, uh, I don't like the fact that how we just let any and everybody put their name on them or put some things together to say what they want to say about them. My problem in whole as a general is Trap Lord or whoever he is, this man is from England. And I get what people saying that he actually put everything together that that uh Vaughn had been posting. But a lot of people post things with they, you know, it's a post, it's social media. So they painted a picture to uh put out what well, not they he took all all what he posted and all what he put out and took it and made it to be for him to be a serial killer, right? And then everybody everybody stood with that and everybody accept that, but at the same time, nobody never looks at the fact that this is real estate. This is a digital footprint that's gonna be around forever. So what about when Vine kids get older? What about when duck kids get older? Or or when Melly babies get older? Or when any of these guys' kids that get older and the perception that people put out on them right now is going to be here and always be here. That's one of the gripes I have with it. Two, how do we how do how do we decipher what was real about that and what was it? It don't make a difference because he said it, we know it's real, it's to be fact. How many people on these blue apps and on these YouTube pages and on these different things don't be doing nothing but capping? So how do we how do we determine if he was capping or not? So why is that cool for him to be able to do that and say that and put that out and everybody think that it's cool? Everybody everybody John behind him and like oh he's right. But at the same time, we were always galvanized together when it's somebody that's not in our culture or not right here on the front line with us, and we'll push their narrative. But at the same time, we, all these bloggers in Chicago, just in Chicago, or just in the United States, ain't, ain't saying that Vaughn was a serial killer. Vaughn didn't do, you know, they saying Vaughn did different things, but this man painted a whole picture, a whole scenario of Vaughn being a serial killer from England. Come on, man. And y'all sitting here saying that he ain't wrong, and that's right, and that's cool. So it's cool for just anybody to keep slandering our people's name, and we think that's okay, and we think that's acceptable? I don't think so. And if I'm wrong, get in the comment section and tell me I'm wrong. Or tell me why do you think I'm wrong. Because I'm standing on that, and I don't think I'm wrong. I think that it should be a cap or a limit to what you say about people if it's not true. Just because he was posting that don't mean that he did that. He didn't get convicted for it. He didn't go to jail for it. So how is that true? How is that? How could y'all say that's true? I don't I don't agree with that. And like I say, I don't play I don't play the op shit. So so when I talk, I'm I'm talking, I don't think it's right. And y'all want to be behind that and say, yeah, he is. Y'all need to fix that, man. Don't stoop so low.